What's left of rural life in Nisun still tells a story of a frugal and hard-working people for whom family and kin were very important. In every kampong, it would be easy to tell a Chinese home from the others because the family would hang their kinship name on the front door. An altar for the deity and the family's four parents was also placed in the center of the house. This is because keeping close links to one's past is very important to the villagers. In the early days, families were also very big, with at least ten people in each household. Extensions were often built by the villagers themselves so that everyone could stay together. These homes used to be part of Nisun village, which was resettled in 1985. Most of the residents have already moved to housing estates, but some are reluctant to leave because rent is still cheap. They've also grown used to a simple and thrifty lifestyle, even though it sometimes brings along less than welcome visitors.